We would be honored if you would join us. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. Brought to you by the letter P, the letter O, the letter F, the letter T, and the letter F. The power of force, the Friday. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just roll with it. So, I want to do something a little bit different this week. Uh, talk about another aspect of the power of the force line, rather than just focusing on figures all the way, all the time. The freeze frame action slides, as you can see here on this pretty munted looking card back. But it's got it's got got it where it counts. Freeze frame action slide. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see on the we'll take a look at the back. So this was Luke Skywalker, Yavin ceremony action figure. But this is where the uh, the magic happens. So yeah, this was a freeze frame action slide album, and you were able to get the slide watcher, which was. Sort of meant to look like um, Han Solo's macro binoculars that he used on Hoth. If I recall, I will try and put an image up on the screen for you right now so we can sort of just take a look at what that looked like. Um, but yeah, typical for Australia. We're still getting left out. Offer good only in the US. And void where prohibited by law. So yeah, again, <laughs> it's... It's been nearly 30 years and we're still getting screwed out of Star Wars stuff here in Australia. We're not that far away from the rest of the world. But yeah, that would have been, I would have loved to have gotten hold of one of those. Just to collect, you know, the frames I do have. I don't know how many there were. But I do have a few to share. So let's look at the images there again. Still really want to, I still really want those two. Jabba, the Jewback. I do really want to get that Jewback. It's great figures there. So that's cool. So I have prepared for you today this piece of white paper. So hopefully we can see through the slides and get a good look at what's happening here. So I do have a stack right here. We're just going to have a look and take a look at the image if we get a good look through them. So here is Luke Skywalker ventured into Vader's web on Bespin's Cloud City. So obviously you put these in the projector and you can sort of see through. I never thought they'd... always wondered whether they'd work on an old school actual projector. I assume they would. I remember seeing some slides that my mum had in a box back when I was a kid. And uh, yeah, I don't think they were totally indifferent to these. So let me just put these on the right side so they're easy to grab. Princess Leia Organa. Leia is reunited with her rebel companions in the Ewok village. The Emperor's Royal Guard, Emperor Palpatine's elite personal guards. So they're cool. So we got Lax Sivrak, now not in the film. Depending on the version you watch, of course, he'll always be in our hearts. That's <laughs> he may not be in the film, but he'll always be in our soul. Lax Sivrak, the Wolfman, doing business in Moss Eisley Spaceport's infamous cantina. I'm trying not to wobble my camera stand here, but it's it's difficult. So don't mind the uh, shaking. <laughs> Hope it's not too off-putting. We've got the one that matches the card back we were just looking at, celebrating the Rebel victory over the Death Star. Some great hairstyles in the background there. Right there next to uh, 3PO. 
the most wonderful moustache you will ever see in Star Wars. It joins onto his sideburns. Fantastic. <laughs> Chewy without his metal. Poor Chewy. Next up, Lando Calrissian. General Lando. Lando is appointed general to lead the rebel assault on the second Death Star. He certainly was. There's a dirty great fingerprint over the top of that one. Have to give that a wipe over afterwards before I put them away. Yeah, without shining a great dirty light through the through the base, I thought just having a nice clean white background would probably share these images nice and clearly. All right, here's one I reviewed just a few few weeks back. Orimako, pruned face, the famed Dresselian commando prepares for the battle against the second Death Star. And if you look closely, excuse me for a second, you can see him right there. <laughs> so this is more more likely to be a slide of the back of Mon Mothma's head. Um, <laughs> but yeah, great. Great scene. Yeah, sort of almost blink and you miss it. I never remembered seeing them as a kid. It wasn't until like the DVDs come out that were a little bit clearer and you could sort of pause it and freeze frame and look around a little bit more. All right, there's a duplicate of the Luke Skywalker that I showed earlier. Nine Numb. His face looks like a stack of pancakes. Uh, Co-piloting the Millennium Falcon against the second Death Star. So I like that each of the slides have the little little marking on the side, Return of Jedi. Lobot. Lando Calrissian, Cyborg Assistant. He's got the puffy shirt. Borrowed that off of uh, Jerry Seinfeld, I believe. <laughs> if you know, you know. All right, we have Captain Piet. Commanding Darth Vader's flagship executor. Really good. Really nice image. Eighty eight torture droid. The uh, gonk gonk droid there getting his feet absolutely roasted. I have done a review on eighty eight in his torture rack. You can check that out. The uh, Power of the Force Fridays catalogue. I do have a playlist of my Power of the Force Friday videos on the front of my channel, so it's nice and easy to find them all. EV-99, Jabba's Taskmaster of Cyborg Operations, assigned C-3PO and R2-D2 their duties. And uh, yeah, also I have done a video on this guy. And this is probably one of my first freeze frame action slides. I've carried this around for a long time, just because I know that I got the EV-99 as a kid. He still hangs about in my collection today. Just a few more to go, folks. We have... The Ugnaughts, laboring in the bowels of Cloud City. Little labor pigmen. They're little jerks too. Well, they're throwing around 3PO's head, trying to tease Chewy. Little buttheads. Now we have Mon Mothma's front. Again, I wonder, had they done a... I think they did a General Medine in Power of the Jedi line, if not the Saga. I can't remember. I don't have General Medine. And his beautifully... Beautifully swept fringe. Pretty sure it was a wig. But, uh, yeah, funny thing I do with Mon Mothma, and I can't not see it now when I watch Return of the Jedi, is if you watch the moment when Admiral Ackbar is doing his speech, watch Mon Mothma. She just stares at his head the whole time. She does not look away. 
there's something going on in that head of hers where she's just sitting there going, there's a giant talking fish in front of me. So that's, that's something that you'll probably never not see again. Biggs Darklighter, Luke's childhood friend, pilots the NX Wing against in the Death Star Assault. I started making up my own sentences there. Biggs! Right, Biggs' is checkerboard helmet there. And lucky last one we have for today. Luke Skywalker learning the ways of the Force on the Millennium Falcon with Ben Kenobi. I'm pretty sure this one came with Luke with his... Um, with the shield down, how am I supposed to see? <laughs> Your eyes are deceive you, don't trust them. So that wraps up the action slides, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I just wanted to share a different aspect of the power of the Force. You know, it's good to look at the figures, but so much, so much more to life and this line. And um, yeah, we'll be back with some more videos in the coming weeks. As always, we'll see you on the next week. May, may the Force be with you always.